everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119 is my website, my phone number. Okay, so today we're going to work on the Heathkit SB220, the one that was missing the filament transformer. The customer didn't even know it was missing it, it was you know, kind of funny. Uh, so... He went through his stuff and he found a new filament transformer. So that's a first, which is cool. I have another one here, but you know, he provided a new one, so I'm going to use the brand new one. So I'm going to take the front panel off, I'll install the transformer, then I have to do the Harbach metering board, Harbach filter cap board, ground the grid. I'll do everything, everything I normally do. Okay, so I'm going to get to work. This thing will be a lot of work, a lot of, a lot of stuff to do. Also needs a fan. Okay, so I'll be back in a bit. I'll show you segments here and there, but it's going to take I'll do a quick video here. So I'll show the rest after, but had the breaker in, the contacts are almost touching the surface. Sloppy, sloppy solder work. Had a solid lead like this on this breaker above and it wasn't even connected. The lead on the .01 cap is almost touching the chassis. So I'm going to undo this and put some heat shrink on that and re-solder it. And run new leads from the breakers over to the terminal strip. Okay, so I'll be back. Hey everybody, I'm back with the completed SV200. It's the weekend. I'm just so overloaded with stuff here. I had to get an amp done. So, here's the old metering board. It's been messed with. So, new Harbach board assembled by me. New filter cap board assembled by me. Air variables are good. Clean the rotary switches. Rewound parasitic suppressors. I put a new strap in, new doorknob cap. I put a good fan in. So you can see everything nice and clean. So there's glitch resistor, new meter lamps. I had to repair a lot of stuff, wiring and everything. So that's all good. I'll flip it over and I will show you the bottom. Be right back. Oh, new filament transformer. Customer provided a new one. I guess he had a new one at his house, so put it in. That's all set. Okay. Be right back. Sorry, I just remembered. I had shown the new filament transformer before. I don't always do the video on the same day, so sometimes I repeat myself. I'm not losing my mind or anything. Just uh, got so much going on. I, I uh, Sometimes there's a lapse between videos. Okay, so... The .01 caps, one lead was almost touching ground potential, now it's insulated with heat shrink, same, same with this one. Everything's soldered well now, new leads, silver plated, stranded with Teflon dielectric. Going to the terminal strip here, it's wired for 120. Clean the TR relay, replace the wire for the relative power meter. Soldering and heat shrunk the wiring for the fan. New electrolytic cap. Fixed solder joints over here and pinched these so they would be nice and tight when I pushed them on these spade terminals. Replaced that phenolic piece because it was wobbling around and resoldered all the leads on it. So, uh, new wire for the TR relay on both sides silver plated stranded teflon i have a ton of it so i use it and i zip tied it so it's not flapping around i put a new standby operate switch in grounded the grids the proper way not through the screws not with craft wire the brown wire is also teflon wire so i think that covers everything did the bias modification all, all the connections are soldered really well and uh she's good to go so if you need any amplifier repaired, please give me a call or text. Phone number is 203-892-4119 and my website. There we go. So that's about it. So please like, share, and subscribe. 
Really appreciate it. Also check the SO239 connectors. They're good. So, ampreparaguy.com. Take care. See you guys soon.